Lucy McCall, CPS, PhD student, the social and personal process of mandate addiction treatment. I'm excited to be here for the first time presenting my preliminary grounded theory model of the personal and social processes of mandated addiction treatment. This is based on five months being in the field and having 40 conversations and interviews. The overarching research problem is that addiction can have many negative personal and social consequences, such as criminal activity, employee absenteeism, and child neglect, and we're still struggling with solutions and ways to help. One proposed solution is to have social institutions impose treatment to redress these behaviors. Research to date has mostly focused on outcomes outside of the right-hand bracket, objective measures such as recidivism and return to work rates. This research, however, wants to understand firsthand the client's views, values, and opinions of the process of being mandated. Meet Bob, Jane, and Paul. At the red line, their substance use is obviously linked to unacceptable social behaviors. Hence begins a recourse where their substance use uh, recovery is watched by their referring institution. These bulleted codes that you see and factors have emerged as defining experiences in the process of mandated treatment. A quick focus on the process of Paul down here who's stolen the car while drinking. At first, he takes the treatment for the option for treatment that the judge refers him to over jail. But he faces the factor of unregulated recovery houses with unprofessional staff, poor supports, and poor living conditions. His dedication and treatment interest remains quite low. He violates probation and is sent to jail instead, another diminishing factor. Once this happened, the treatment appeal is decreased for the duration of his time as he's already lived out the worst consequence, which is jail. He may continue to take programs in jail, something resonates in a program, and he feels it is, it is, come, is coming from me, it has to come from you. And he elevates his interest in completion over time. Alternatively, he may take program after program feeling there is nothing more for me to learn, um, and he continues to be disinterested um, and ends up with a feeling of, I rather have just taken jail time from the very beginning. Any of these factors, may come into play at any time to increase or decrease interest and expedite the period of surveillance and mandated requirement. Finally, there's not a clear finish line from treatment as indicated by this backward arrow. Continued urine screens, a sense of continued to be watched by their institutions is what clients um, reported. My hope is that this research will see a more comprehensive understanding of how mandates work in addiction treatment that this research will help those with addiction issues and the professionals and institutions dealing with them and their social consequences.